What's up YouTube and I'm back with another video so in this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can download and install the Microsoft Office 2013 Pro Plus 2017 so go down to the bottom so the system requirements are 2 gigs of RAM 5 gigabytes of hard disk space and Windows 7 or later and the, the file setup size is 4.6 gigabytes which is a little bit huge and also it's an ISO file so just click the download button and you will be brought into another page or another tab and this is gonna be your the, the tab that uh, you're gonna be downloading it and right now it's loading and click to proceed and it will have to take a step four and just wait for that it, it isn't the survey guys just trust, trust me so uh, i'm using a microsoft um edge but uh yeah you can download the, the file so it's right now it's downloading and i already have the file so i will just cancel it probably so i will just open the file in my file explorer and right now it's in there so this that is the file that is an ISO file but but if you're Windows if you're on Windows 8 or Windows 7 or Windows 10 you can directly open it but if you don't if you can't you can download a third-party tool could called power ISO so uh, it has three folders so to check what folder you're gonna be working with is to go to the property of your computer so right now my computer is 64 bit operating system and the processor is uh, 64 bit so don't matter on the processor just take a look at about this 64 bit operating system just uh, ignore the 64 based processor but just take note to the 64 bit operating system so it's a 64 bit so uh, choose the folder 64 times 64 and find the file which is actually a setup file click the setup file double click it to open and right now it's opening it so just wait for that and right now as you can see we have the office right here and it's about to install it so you can install now or customize it so here's what you can see in customizing you can not install word you can install anything you can choose what specific um, office or software you will it will be installed but right now I will stick with the default one so I will just uh, maybe um, get back and close this one I, I rather have the default one I'm happy with the default one so I will just close this one so you can choose whether you only install Word or you only install Microsoft uh, PowerPoint it doesn't actually matter it's up to you but I will stick to the default one so I will just close it and click the setup again and it's right now opening it and it's about and we're about to install it so install it right now and it will actually take time so I did skip the video so uh, it's about it take me about uh, 30 minutes it's yeah it will actually depend on the uh, in your on your computer how fast is it? How fast is the transferring uh, rate of the installation process? So right now it's done, as you can see. So believe me, guys, you will take in that it will actually take time. Do not ever close that. So right now we're opening it up right now, as you can see in a start screen, and you have Excel, the uh, OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint word which is actual common so i will just open word right now to test this out if this actually worked so as you can see it's opening up word and uh yeah so you can create a blank document there but i will just close this one and let's see so before closing it just use the recommended settings given by microsoft and yeah i will just go into a uh, click ok by the way so just close this thing right here and I will just show you a cool thing about it. So go to the start screen again and find Microsoft Office 2013. Where is it right now? Um, it's right there, as you can see. So I will just go into pin this 
on the start screen, I mean start menu, it will just going to be in there. So as you can see, how cool is that? If you don't know that, that is pretty much essential for, you know, opening it uh, without going to that kind of Microsoft Office folder. So here is PowerPoint, I will just go PowerPoint and I will just going to show you how to do it again. Go and uh, right click to the PowerPoint and pin to start. Now you can also pin this on your taskbar if you really wanted to open it as quickly as you can you can pin it right there but I don't I don't like that thing it's probably not good for me so you can remove this thing by just right clicking and unpin from start and that's how easy it is so if you guys like this video you can subscribe to my channel for more and you can find more videos like this one in my channel just visit my channel it's free and um, if you have some questions uh, don't bother just comment down below what are your thoughts what are your questions suggestions what will you what you want me to make videos in the future so thanks for watching and hopefully see you in my next video babush